Initiating energy transfer. Hmm? What's with the music change? What's with my voice crack? Jesus. What's happening? My pendant, it's... Huh? Um, that doesn't look good. Uh-oh. And she left the pendant behind? Oh, this is extra not good. Nina? Where are you going? Um, that's a problem. Hey everybody, it's Seven Sage, and welcome back to my playthrough of Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we apparently had come back to the past somehow. We kind of checked everything around this town, and it is very much not the same place. So, that's a problem. Um, so we're gonna kind of try to figure out what we can here. Apparently, this place up here is a little bit sus. Um, but I don't know. We haven't seen, I guess. Uh, let's, let's go up here to the castle. Maybe somebody in the castle will know something. This was an area you could have gone to in the future that we were at before, but there's no point. There's just some random enemies around here, and it, like I said, eventually I will start cutting out these battles, but right now it's so new that I'm like, eh, is it really worth it to be cutting out the battles? Now, use Cyclone as much as you want. Um, in my opinion, you'll heal them again eventually, but it just murders everything, and especially when it, the battles are short like this. It's like, what's... What's the point of cutting them out? Now, this area is one of those places that there's a lot, yes, here's a strength capsule. There's a lot to just find everywhere. Now, I'm actually gonna straight up just use that strength capsule right away. Usually in these kind of games, I like to stockpile those and save those, but we're gonna go ahead and just up Chrono's strength right off the bat. I think we'll get a lot of benefit out of that, so I don't regret that move at all. I swear there's some more stuff around here. Oh, well. You're not the stuff I was looking for, enemies. But whatever. We'll go ahead and cyclone these guys straight out of here. Get get your ass out of here. Those two are done. And then we'll just randomly attack the other one once we get the... You know, our gauges up there. I did buy that breast bronze vest or whatever last time. So we are able to tank a little bit more than... Obviously, if you didn't do that. Got a free potion too. We bought items. We're doing good there. Yeah, this man dropped a shelter. So cool. I was like, I remember one of these bushes. Oh, and then you've got enemies in you. Fine. We'll just bust through them all. Like, in a situation like this, I would not see myself using Cyclone, because it's like, what's the, what's the point? I mean, sure, you might kill one, but usually you can kill one pretty quickly anyway. Last time I played this game was on an emulator, and so I had speed up. And so the lack of speed up is obviously... It's kind of hurting my feelings here, but it's fine. Wonderful. Okay, so let's kind of keep exploring. The first time you run through here, you want to fight everybody, experience everything. Then after that, not so much, in my opinion. Hello, Birdos. So he hit you, rude. We'll go ahead and do this. Get these two out of here with the Cyclone. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, we're getting to start off this episode with some action right off the bat. Which is something that we're always interested in, right? So get out of here, bird. Wonderful. Another Panacea. Chrono level increased. So you probably didn't have to buy the items at the place like I did last time. You'd like to have a stockpile. But, you know, if you felt like it, it's not a bad idea. Um, coming over here. I think if you pass this... Because up there is where we're supposed to go. There's some items around this way. There's another one of these mysterious boxes. So kind of just keep that in mind. Maybe that's it for now. Okay. Let's continue. Uh, somebody at the castle is bound to know what we can do, right? In Guardia Castle. Halt! Who goes there? I've not seen your face before in those outlandish clothes. Wouldn't it be one of the Fiend Lord's agents, would we? Ha! Fat chance, look at him, the boy's not built to lift a sword, let alone serve in the Feed Lord's army. I suppose you're right. Now run along, boy, before we're forced to lock you up in the towers. Stop that at once. Queen Lean! Lean? Now she looks familiar. That man is my friend, and you will treat him as such. Nina? Is that you? But your majesty, there's something strange about his look. 
He refused to re obey my orders? N no, I... Forgive me, my lady. Please, enter. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so we are able to explore around here. I guess I should probably go talk to them before coming and doing the rude stuff, but whatever. Hello? I, I'm dying. I'm dying of hunger. Can we get this man some food? Your meal is ready. Finally! There you go, man. Are you feeling better now? Om nom nom nom. Yes, yes, yes. The Master of Kitchens. I want to say I think there's an item down here. Maybe not. Yeah, me and the Queen are acquainted. You could say that. We're kind of friends. We're homies. We, uh, we went on a date once, and then I kind of accidentally sent her into a portal that could have meant her impending doom. I'm not 100% sure. So that, you know, is a budding friendship if I've ever heard of one. This is like the barracks. The Eden Bridge is our last line of defense. It must hold, even should it mean our lives. You're the queen's fee You're the queen's friend, are you not? Talk to me when you need a rest. Okay, I will. Thank you. There's not too much to do around here. I just kind of wanted to show off a little bit what we can do and where we are. Hello. We are... Hello? I am to understand that you played some role in helping to rescue my lady wife. I owe you a debt of gratitude. My ch you know what befell Lean? She has been acting rather oddly since her return. And she seems to have lost the coral hairpin that she always wore. She always treasured that thing, so forgive me. You must be tired. Please, rest in the night's nice quarters downstairs on the left. I'll speak to the commander. Okay. Hmm. The chancellor, huh? He didn't seem to be too happy to see us, but you know... To be fair, he doesn't know who we are, so he probably doesn't trust us. There's a hundred G's right there. We'll always take the free money, right? Oh, another one of these things. We're seeing these everywhere. But just keep them in mind, okay? Keep them in your back pocket, I promise. Just between you and I, the Chancellor has been acting strangely these days. I've spied on him sneaking out of the castle time and time again. Awkward. People think that the Chancellor's behavior is strange, but I don't think it's troubling at all. The Chancellor is a man of strong faith. Why, he goes to the Manolia Cathedral every day to pray. Isn't that the plate? Oh, here's some bronze armor. So, you didn't necessarily need to buy it, but you can either sell this bronze armor or save it for something else. And I'll show you that here in a minute, too. So, it's, it's not a mistake, I promise. I mean, it, it might be, but either way, we can sell it. It's not like a huge one. Now, we're going to come over here. So, apparently, the Chancellor's been acting funny. I mean, he didn't seem... Like I was saying, he didn't seem happy to see us at all. So, maybe it's just because he's been acting funny. Maybe he's not usually that rude. I don't know. This is our first time meeting him. Her Majesty awaits you. Well, good. Hello? It's been over ten years since Her Majesty first came to this castle, but she's scarce aged today. In fact, she looks even younger now than she did before she disappeared. How could that be? Me, Ether, will take that for sure. Hello? You're the one who saved our queen. I'd expected one a bit more... dashing. Ah, there you are. Please leave us. I need to have words with this man in private. As you wish, your majesty. Girl, Queen Lean, who are you? How do you know us? Come nearer. Don't be shy. <laughs> Fooled you, didn't I, Chrono? Oh, it is Nina. It's me, but everyone keeps calling me Lean for some reason. I'm glad you came. We were only together for that short time at the fair, but somehow I knew you'd come for me. Thank you, Chrono. No problem, Nina. What's happening? Girl, what? I feel... I feel like I'm being torn apart. Help me, Chrono. I'm scared. It's like I'm dying. Please, Chrono, help. Girl, what do you mean help? What are we supposed to do? You're, you're vaporizing. Huh? And we just reunited with her. What the hell? We just... What? Uh, uh-oh. This is gonna look kind of sus. We're gonna just leave. I think we need to go. Like, now. Chrono! Who? Oh, it's Momo! 
Whoa, you're okay. Did you find the girl? She what? She disappeared? Hmm, it's just as I thought then. What'd you think? I knew I recognized her from somewhere. We seem to be in Guardia, but it looks a lot older than the Guardia we're from. They must have mistaken that girl for her ancestor. After all, that girl was our Princess Nadia. What? Nina, that is Princess Nadia, is a descendant of Queen Lee. Okay. I see, I see. 400 years of Nina's. So Queen Lean was kidnapped and someone was supposed to have gone and saved her, but now history's been changed. Oh. Nina looks so much like the Queen that they probably called off their search when she appeared. But if the real Queen is killed... Oh, I see, I see. So since they saw Nina, they called off the search parties. Nina will never have ex existed, but there might be still enough time. If we can save the queen, history as we know it should remain unchanged. Okay, so we gotta go save the real queen. Something must happen to the queen in this era, if she isn't rescued. And if something happens to her, her descendant, Princess Nadia, will never come into being. We have to find the real queen. Okay, and so Momo is actually an active party member. I don't know why they don't, like, tell you, but it's true. And we'll learn something with Momo very soon, which will be useful. But anyways, we gotta go before anybody notices us. Goodbye. Okay, see you later. Alright, so while nobody's noticing that we stole... Well, we didn't really do anything. She just disappeared in front of us, but it looks hella sus, right? So before that can happen, we're gonna run this way. I think we still have to... Oh, no. Cool. So... Here's the thing, right? Supposedly the Chancellor's been acting weird. Supposedly there was a lot of sus on this cathedral over here, and supposedly the Chancellor goes there every day, and it's the only place that we haven't gone yet. So let's let's go check out this cathedral. Hello. We pray for the peace of our world. We are ever so devout. Tee. <laughs> oh. That we may reclaim the future of for ourselves in your name. Oh, how delicious. I mean, delightful looking you are. Excuse me, did you say I look delicious? Binge what? Oh, great lord and master, deliver your judgment upon the weak and undeserving. Hmm. Why not say a prayer for yourselves? <laughs> what is this? What did you find? A hairpin? Wait a minute, they always said that the queen used that hairpin. Hey, it's the Guardia's royal crest. Excuse me. Oh. And welcome to our battle here with... Let's see, let's hit... Hmm, we're only going to really be able to hit those two. Nagamore, I guess is what they're called. Nagamores. Let's go ahead and try to hit them. Momo is a ranged attacker and kind of uses more like... Hmm, magic-based stuff, if that makes sense. We don't really have any access to magic right now, but you'll understand what I mean eventually. Let's go ahead and cyclone these two. Maybe that'll get... Dang, that middle one is still not dead. That's actually surprising to me. Like, you should be dead, sir. They're coming in attacking. Ooh, I probably need to heal Chrono soon. I'll probably use that with Momo Cern. Okay, there's one dead. That's good. Let's go ahead and potion Chrono. Chrono, you can go ahead and attack this one. That one should be close, you think. We are pretty fast with Chrono, so we can usually just pop off. Alright, now we're just going to have to, you know, regular attack our way to victory. Which, whatever, not my favorite, but whatever. Whatever, bud. Naga, come here. You must die. Luca's gun doesn't do too bad damage. Like, it's decent damage. Don't worry about it. He's okay, he's okay. Go ahead and shoot that down. Nice. Alright. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, so when it does a flash like that, that means it was a crit. So that's pretty cool. We got the crit there. Good experience. TP. Nice. 
Whew, wasn't expecting that. Oh god, there's more. Ah. Huh? Lower your guard and allow the enemy in. You've come to save the queen. The fiend's lair lies within, it would seem. Will you accompany me? You... You're a... Chrono, it's a giant talking frog! You... You know I can't stand frogs! I suppose I not out expect you to trust me looking as I do. <coughs> Very well, do as you please. But I must save the queen. W wait! You don't seem like a bad frog. I mean, person. I mean, um... What should we do, Chrono? We're gonna go with the frog. Right, I guess I'll have to get over my aversions to slimier, moist-skinned creatures. So, what's your name? So yeah, they just call him Frog. And I obviously don't like that, so we're gonna give him the homage to Breath of Fire 2, Jean. Jean is great. Jean will suffice. Alright, nice. Nice to meet you, Jean. And you as well. This room must conceal a hidden passage. Let's search every corner. So yeah, now we have Jean, which is nice. We should go ahead and just heal real quick, which I'll go ahead and do. I got plenty of potions, so it's like, boom, boom, girl, we're fine. John's level 5, actually, so much higher level than the rest of us. And he does have Slurp, which restores a small amount of HP, so he can kind of be like a Paladin type. So yeah, I'll just tell you now, you just hit the organ to open up the secret passage that we're looking for. And now we have a three-person squad already with Momo, myself, and Jean. Alright, so this is like the first like dungeon of the game. The battles work just like this. You'll see them sitting there, you just kind of run up and we, we join the battle, we do the thing. So the only time that I really find myself using Cyclone, well I can't even right now, but in these kind of battles is when I feel like I can hit two or more of them together pretty easily. Let's go ahead and let. Oh, that was a crit. Nice, John. Now, I will try to suggest to you to fight everything in here. Um, just because it's going to be really good experience for both Momo and Chrono. Jean, obviously, is a little bit higher level than the rest of us, so it's it's okay. And he's really whacking out here. Perfect. Um, but this is like the first like official dungeon of the game, which is exciting. Momo's level increased. Love that. We'll go ahead and grab Athenian water, love that. And potion, cool. Is there anything new a part of this battle? No, I mean, this will be a pretty quick one too, but after this I'll start cutting out the ones that don't have new enemies, because I know that none of us want to sit and see those battles all day. So I'll save you from it. Oh, nice crit, Momo. It's gonna cut you. There is quite a bit of nice things to get within this dungeon, so. We will do that as well. Chrono's level increased. We love that. And then, just to make sure, I don't have to, like, do anything for this, do I? No. Because the TP's just, like, scattered across the whole party. That's why. I always forget that. Alright, up here. I kind of forget the exact order you want to go in here. Maiden suit is great. So let's go ahead and take a look at equipment real quick. So, Chrono, you're good, but we'll definitely give you the maiden suit. And then, oh, I guess he already has the bronze armor. We can give you the bronze armor. Perfect. Um, you've got the sight scope, and you've got a power glove. So, that works out for us there. So, everybody's good. Love that. Okay. So, that's definitely a room you want to visit. Those snake guys we haven't fought yet. Steel saber, I believe that's for Chrono. And it's a very damn good upgrade. Yeah, 17 to 24. It's going to make a huge difference. One thing to point out, too. Notice on the equipment here screen that everybody has, like, a symbol, an elemental symbol next to them. That doesn't really matter right now, but it will matter, matter later. So Chrono's affinity is light. Luca's, I mean, Momo's affinity is fire. And Jean's affinity is water. Just something to notice. Um, we can't do too much with it right now, but... Noise. That one was pretty easy, just like the rest. Momo learned Flamethrower. Fire World Dual Tech is useful now. So, Dual Techs are something that we'll kind of get into soon, but they are essentially just like their name says. 
Is this just the entrance again? Yeah, I don't know why those guys respawned. But anyways, we'll come up here. We haven't fought these guys yet, so we'll go ahead and show this off. We don't... This isn't a great opportunity for Luca to show that off, the dual tech, but we could go ahead and just show Flamethrower. Now, if there's other people near that snake, it would also hit him. So it's a good little invention that Luca has. I mean, Momo. God, I keep calling her Luca. I am used to her being you, Luca, so maybe I should have just left them with the default names, but I do like giving the little homages, and Momo is such a cute name. Bleh, what's with the disguises? Hurry up and change. No need to be walking around like humans in here. Oh, I guess you guys do disguise your human yourselves as humans, huh? Ugh, it's almost time for my shift. I hate pretending to be human. There's a smelly and repulsive. It's demeaning. Bleh. Okay, rude. Those ones we ate last time weren't so bad. Those two soldiers we just got look nice, plump, and juicy. <laughs> Yakra's a genius. His plan to imprison the Chancellor and take on his role work like magic. Now the Queen's ours and the castle's in an uproar. This is rich. Oh. All right. Think I'll pay my respects to the Fiend Lord statue before my shift starts. Okay. Anyways... Oh yeah, so we can like follow him if you want before his shift starts. Oh, hello. We're gonna go ahead and just grab these first. An ether, yes. And a hundred G's, yes. Did you by chance come to save Queen Lean? Oh, you did? That's good to know. Oh, you came to rescue me? How kind of you. But I assure you, there's no need. The master of this place, Yakra, is so very kind. I've decided to stay here. Please make yourselves at home too. Oh, how good of you to come. I'm sure Yakra will be pleased. Please, pass the time in here until he... With us until he has a chance to get, greet you properly. No, we're leaving. Don't be in such a hurry to leave. Please, take time to enjoy yourselves with us. <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe it. They're not good guys. Wow. If you didn't see that coming. Well, you might be a bit silly. Momo, well, well, go ahead and... Yes, when she's close range, I love it. She just whips out the hammer and hits him. I'm like, yes, girl. Yes, that's the Momo energy right there. That's what I'm saying. Momo, well, well, go ahead and shoot. So this next turn, we'll have you hit, obviously. But when F John comes up, I'm actually going to have him slurp Chrono. And yeah, don't ask me about the logistics of that, but it will heal him a little bit, so that's good. Dirty minds aside, it'll be okay. Noise. More Athenian water. We'll take it over here. Oh, great Magus. Magus the Great. Your eyes are brighter than the stars. Your flowing hair like waves atop the sea. Even those miserable sunny days of bait. When we feel your seething hate. Even Brighton Halls hold no fear. Just so long as you are near. Speed belt. Magus, or Lord Magus, you are Fiend Lord and Savior. Oh, Magus must be the Fiend Lord. We got some bangles and stuff. Oh, great Magus, Magus the Great. Your eyes are brighter than the stars. You're flowing here. Oh, yeah, I yeah. am. Oh, I just wanted to see. Okay, well, they're worshipping. We got what I wanted there. So the biggest thing that I think we're going to do right off the bat is Momo. I'd like you instead of the sight scope. I'd love for you to have the speed belt on, girl. It's just going to be so much more useful. That'll be good. Okay. Well, that was useful. We haven't gone up, like, the main stretch here, so let's go ahead and just do that. Skip these guys if we can, because we already fought them once. Noise. I went and just counted that one out, because it was pretty easy. Pretty straight. Lit. That one was easy as well. Ooh, Jean learned Slurp Slash. Which also unlocks the X Dual Dual Tech. So we haven't used any dual techs yet. This is a healing point. Or at least it can be. I don't think I have a shelter on me, do I? Well, I do. I have one. Let's go ahead and use it. Because that fully heals everybody with MP and everything. You can also save on those points if you felt like it. Oh, yeah. I forgot that this makes us fall down. Hello. Fight me. Some new enemies here, so we'll go ahead and keep it on. I don't necessarily feel comfortable using either of our dual techs, though. And you'll see why, but... The bat is just one of those that has high evasiveness, but... If you hit it, it's dead, pretty much, so... Don't have to worry about that. This guy's a little bit more bulky. But not too hard, either. Nothing in here should be kicking your ass too much, because it's the first dungeon. Like, that would be 
a bit absurd, don't you think so? Noise, that one wasn't too bad either. Jean got a level up. We love that. Go ahead and hit that, and it lowered the spikes in that room over there. Just something to notice. I don't think we can... Yeah, it's still slippery, slidey. But that's just something to be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, we'll keep that in the back of our head. Avoid the rolly guy for right now. What is this? Panacea and potion. No entry within. Okay, well... Now this is a great opportunity. Let's go ahead and show off our dual tech fire whirl. So we gotta wait until both Luca and Chrono are ready. We'll get right here in the middle of them and let's go ahead and show you what that means. So flamethrower and cyclone come together to make a super strong tech. And it does massive damage, taking all of them out very quickly. And that's gonna be the kind of the move, right? Moving forward, pun intended. Um, with big groups like that, if you are able to use your dual tech, do it then. And then this room with the bats, uh, pretty much ignore it. I think, oh, I think I should have slipped there. There's another shelter, so we'll kind of save that for later. Up here, the spikes are down. Oh, hello. Nice, cleared them out easy enough good experience there and we got the iron sword which i believe that is for jean so we're gonna go ahead and equip that with him real quick perfect 19 to 21 not a huge jump up but it is a jump up regardless we're gonna hit the organ again because obviously that's their their regular tell right we know we'd be knowing what they'd be doing that did something somewhere well actually we know exactly what it did and where we're going to slide back down here, because we already did it once. Why not do it again? And this door appeared. So good. Hello. Nice. Those guys were easy. Pretty much just had everybody attack, which is great. Let's continue. Ooh, some of these. Noise. Pretty straightforward on those as well. Chrono got a level up. We love that. Okay. Well, gosh darn. All right, sorry, I, I cut the, I don't know why I didn't say anything after that, but I cut that battle too. We're gonna go ahead and use the shelter here again. Just get everybody all beefed up before we come in here. Prepare yourself, Queen Lean. It is time for you to bid farewell to this world. Let's, oh, I wanted to grab the chest first. You, how did you get in here? Jean! Flee, your majesty. We shall dispatch this fiend. Be careful. Gah! There's no use in fighting. None of you will make... You will leave this place alive. Alright, corrupt chancellor. Intaro... Tolerable frog. Let us see your hop your way out of this. Enough of this, Chancellor Sherrod. Or Charade. Oh, God. He's a big yellow beetle. Hello? Disgusting. The Chancellor transformed into Yakra. So we've heard of this Yakra before, so the first thing that you want to do is this X-Strike is actually extremely powerful on him. Momo will just let you do Flamethrower 164. That was huge. He does do that counterattack. I think you can stop that after you burn him once. I forget if that's the T. Or no, he just does it every time. So you gotta make sure you're watching how much it's worth it. So for the most part, I have Momo heal um, because they have the speed belt on and then I'll have these two do X-Strike. Momo, go ahead and heal yourself because you're gonna need it after this one. This is obviously our first boss fight, so it's gonna have, he has quite a bit of HP. Don't be just underestimating him or anything like that. Yaka's needle launching attack. Let's see who it hits. Ouch on you. Ooh, 47. That's bad. So we're going to go ahead and actually... Hello, game. Hello, can we have control back, game? There we go. I'm going to have you heal yourself, Luca. And then you two boys do X-Strike. I don't know what was happening there with my controller, but I got, I'm glad I got it figured it out right before. He's going to do this again. We're definitely going to need to get some healing on. 
but it's fine for right now. Grah, he's doing... Hitting all attacks, so let's everybody just take a turn to heal yourself. This is the self-care turn. And actually, you can slurp yourself, Frog, even better. Alright, we'll go ahead and do the X-Strike. Let's go ahead and do Flamethrower right after. Let's do all the damages if we can. Boom! Right on top of each other. Grah! Hopefully it just, like, surmounts to one counterattack since they were all together. Yeah, it did. Needle spin on somebody. Everybody seems to have enough HP. Hitting Momo again. Super rude. I'm gonna go ahead and let Momo heal themselves before we do another X strike. Boom. Here you go, Yakra. Another 164. Oh, he didn't seem to attack back after that one. That's interesting. We'll go ahead and X strike. Momo, you can go ahead and get a potion on Chrono. Because he's kind of getting low. Oh, just kidding. Yakra is dead. Yeah, that boss isn't too bad as long as you kind of just make sure you're spacing it out and doing all that good stuff. Boom. 50 experience. 5 tech points. Momo level. Yay, we got some levels. Victory music. Thank you, Jean. I knew you'd come to rescue me. His Majesty awaits most anxiously. We should return to the castle. I thank you, Chrono and Momo, for all your aid. And I as well. Please accompany us to the castle. You will be most welcome guests. No problem. We'll do that first. Let's loot this. Oh, hello? Oh, it's the actual Chancellor. Phew, <laughs> my thanks! That monster stuffed me in there like a sack of coin! Oh, your majesty, I am undamaged, as you can see. All right, well, will this fix our problem with the time and will Nina cease to exist or will she be real girl? We don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, but I guess I can't save right here. Let's go to the castle. Yes, let's be on our way. But thank you guys so much for watching this episode of... Oh, God, I'm, I'm lying, I'm lying. You could not know how worried I was, Lean. Yakra, that vile beast impersonating me and kidnapping the queen. We must institute a stricter criminal justice system in this kingdom to ensure such fiends never threaten the royal family's safety again. I am disgraced. I failed to protect my queen. Jean! Okay. Well, that was awkward. Jean, are you okay? It was my presence here that endangered the queen. I can remain at this castle no more. Chrono, you've the makings of a great swordsman. Well, thank you. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. Maybe frogs aren't so bad after all. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Chrono Trigger. Make sure to smash that like button for me if you haven't already to show your support for the series. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next one. Bye.